Okay. Yeah, I went home that weekend, but me watching the game, I feel like I was there when we, when we won that last onside kick. Celebrating with – yeah, Trent uh, Robinson gave you a little bit of a scare there at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it, it was a great win. A great win. I was excited like I, like I was there. Thanks, man. Mm. This offense this year – uh, even even where you guys were at the end of the last year, it's taken steps in terms of you guys set records of scoring. Were there things you saw at the end of last year, even 15 months ago when you guys were really struggling, that you said you guys could be this? What is the element that's allowed you guys to have this sort of year? Uh, just the, the confidence that the coaches had in us and the confidence we had in ourselves. We knew we, we can do, make big plays on, on everybody's, with everybody, you know, with young receivers coming in and young running backs behind me. We knew we all could, all could make their plays and it just, Putting it, putting it in the beginning of the season, starting off strong. Did, yeah, did you know when you had those first couple of games this year where things really flowed offensively for a while, you knew you guys might be a special group? Oh, yeah, I knew it. I knew the work that the receivers put in in the summertime and the work that we put in in the summertime, in the summertime that we could be a real good offense. And that's that's what the really thing we, we based ourselves on is staying confident and believing in ourselves. Thanks, appreciate it. Jeremy, you have a chance to set a new school record on Saturday. I mean, you, I don't know how much you're thinking about that right now, but how exciting is it knowing that you have a chance to do that in your final season, the regu the last game of the regular season? Uh, I haven't really thought about it that much. And I, I never really think about records that much, individual co com accomplishments, really. Mm -hmm. But after the season, you know, when it's all said and done, you know, I'd be happy if I do get that record and if I did break it. So it feels good when, once I'm done playing football here. Yeah, and you were—you said you redshirted that 2010 year, yeah. so you didn't go to Penn State. But, you know, being a part of the team, how much do you think that it established, I guess, where the program is now, getting a share of that Big Ten title? Uh, just showing how good it felt when I was on the team to win that Big Ten championship game. And then, you know, being staying hungry for that for that feeling. So that's that's where we're at now and wish we could have a chance to, but it's still just mm -hmm. having that feeling of being hungry, having that championship. And earlier today, D'Antonio said that this was a program program statement win for you guys if you, if, if you win on Saturday. Do you agree with him on that, and, and why is it a statement game? Yeah, I do. I know he's talking about having 10 wins, and I think having 10 wins is hard to come by in college football. So, you know, right now in our season, a 10-2 team, that's, that's, that's good to us. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good season for a lot of teams. So I think that's very important for us to get that 10 win, 10th win. And you had senior day here, you know, a lot of emotions with that. But, I mean, what are you looking forward to the most for Saturday's game, you know, on the road? I just finished our season, our season, season uh, on a strong note, and getting that 10 win, and being able to get, it, get it into one of those, you know, power six bowl games. So that's really looking forward to right now is getting into a good bowl game. Okay, thank you. You played Big Ten football for now five years. What have you experienced, and what have you learned about Big Ten football? I guess. Uh, it's, it's a tough conference, and, and getting 10 wins and getting nine wins is hard to come by. You know, any given day, any given Saturday, a team can come out and, and, and beat you, regardless of the record. And I know every team plays hard. On that note, you know, you talk about any team can beat you, and, and Penn State has had a couple kind of brutal losses this year, but they are also the same team that at home took Ohio State to a second overtime. Um, are you guys concerned about <coughs> playing in that same environment at all? Uh, yeah, we never we never overlook our opponents because we know Penn State and Coach D talk about it, Penn State is a, a good team, especially defensive-wise. So we never overlook our opponent, opponent and we always prepare, to, prepare, prepare for the worst. So we're always ready for anything that can happen, and we're going to play our best. On film, does this look like as good a front seven as you've seen? You know, I haven't watched a lot of it right now, but they do like they they all float to the ball, and they're very good on third down. So they do like a good defense, and especially in the Big Ten. What's the streak mean to you? Because I mean, it's you know since '96, no one's done this against Big Ten teams week after week, getting 100 yards every time. I mean, you got one more chance here to, to keep it alive here you know, uh, to end it with the streak. You know, well, somebody said it to me as it's kind of like hard to believe. You know, with a lot of running backs coming out of the Big Ten and a lot of running backs in, in any conference, but. I haven't really put too much emphasis on it, but you know, when I'm done playing football at Michigan State, I'll look back on it and be proud and be able to tell my kids what, I, what I've done. So I'll be happy after I'm done playing football. But you'll have to earn this last one. Oh, yeah. These guys. Yeah, and Coach Manning and Coach D talk about it. Like, that's one of the top you know, rushing defenses in the nation. And I'm, I'm prepared and I'm excited to play them. So what, why are you so good as a running back? Uh, I, at first, I started with the offensive, offensive line. You know, how good they've been this year and opening the holes and, and, and doing that. And, and me, I think just getting the, the four yards and being patient. And not, you know, getting too greedy and trying to hit the home run all the home run all time, but just putting the offense in, in good situations. So if you were in a job interview and there is say, okay, break down your strengths and weaknesses as a back. You know, there's vision, there's whatever, there's speed, there's, you know, juking people, whatever. What are your what are your best things and what would you say are your weakest things? Uh, I think me having a, I have good vision, 
balanced and I, versatile. You know, I can catch the ball at the backfield, and I, I can block well. As, as, it might be the biggest back, but I can still, you know, step up there and block and protect the quarterback. And in the weakest, I can still say pass block because that's one of the hardest things as a running back to do. And it's something I'm working on, but your vision and being able to hit the home run as well. But the pass pro, that's still, I mean, you got to be at least good enough to Right, that's a big part. Oh yeah, of that's that's the right? that's the biggest part of playing. You know, at running back, especially coming from high school and not have to do a lot out of high school. But that's a key important part, especially at the next level when when they get paid the most. So you gotta you gotta protect them. What about durability for you? That's one thing that Coach Warner just said that that's kind of people don't think about that. But you don't miss plays. You don't want to ever come out of the game. You've been banged up and still played through it, right? Yeah, just no, I hadn't really had nothing serious injuries. Uh, knock on wood this this year or the past years and. It, I think that's a credit to the, you know the offensive line and the coaches the rotating all the backs in there. So it's, I'm able to play whenever. Even though it's probably more serious than your Thomas, so, right? Oh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> I, ain't, I haven't missed the game yet. I'm good. Is this a wrist injury? No, it wasn't a wrist. It wasn't a wrist? No. Nah. Run an ankle either, right? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm ready to go. When you look at Penn State, they're the number one run defense in the country. Why? Uh, I think they they, they physical up front and they they throw the ball good as a team. And I haven't really watched too much of them, but I know the coaches said they, they do for the ball good, and I watched them. They do. They're a great team tackling. They they make tackles. It's what you got to do at, at you know, Penn State or at the defense. Does that challenge you, knowing what you've got on the line here? You've got a streak now that nobody else has done in 15 <laughs> years, and you're going to play the number one run defense in the country. Does that gas you up even more than usual? Uh, and I'm not really worried about the streak. I'm just more excited about playing, you know, number one defense, number one rushing defense. That's exciting for me. It's like for the offensive line to see what we can do against that and show the nation what we can do against a number one rated, rated defense. Why are you so much better later in the season and late in games? Why do you come on so strong as the season goes on and as games go on? I think just uh, healthy. And we had a lot of run back, running backs rotating in this year, so I had a lot of hits off of me. And just staying healthy and knowing, you know, at this time is when you need to finish games. And when we get up in games, it's my job to, to finish it off. And that's what. I really emphasize during the latest season. So is it kind of fitting in a way that you've run for 100 yards against every Big Ten opponent, now this is your last one, it's the number one ranked defense. Is that kind of fitting in a way that it's that last shot? Uh, like I said, I, I really thought about that, but I'm more excited just, just playing the number one ranked defense. I'm excited for the offensive line as well to show show what they could do and just show the nation what we could do as a, as a run, as an offense in general. During the game, do you mentally calculate how many yards you have? Are you ever thinking about that? Like, oh, I've got 80 yards, I only have 20 more to go to get the streak, or is that just not even cross your mind? No, that never really comes to my mind. It's more the scoreboard, see what the score at, and it's, that's the most important part for me is winning the game. I don't really think about the yards.